So cool, man. I usually do my uh, showcases a little bit different. So you could just start this yeah. off by just uh, telling the SL viewers, you know, who you are, what you do, and, uh, you know, what your story is. Okay, okay. Uh, did you start the interview? <laughs> Yeah, we're just gonna we're just gonna let it naturally flow. So yeah, we've started. Okay, that's that's cool. Okay, so yeah, welcome guys. I'm uh, I'm Versov, and uh, I the owner of Versov Store, <laughs> and um, I'm a sneakers designer in Second Life uh, since uh, 2016. Uh, I had another business before, but uh, I, t I wanted to renew it and make it uh, another way. And I think that I like it uh, how it is now. And uh, uh, I am the owner also of uh, Paris City. So it's the same where uh, we are making, uh, we have uh, uh, the four brands now, including mine. And uh, it's a co French collective, and uh, we try to do our best to to make you guys uh, happy with the theme and with the creation we are making here. That's all <laughs> I can say. So, who are the other uh, stores in the collective? You said just four brands. So, okay, who are the other yeah. three? Yes. Uh, so we have uh, Magnificent. So he does uh, beers for guys. Uh, we have uh, also Res Room that he's making amazing uh, animals like uh, in uh, Animesh, and uh, it's a really amazing store. And uh, Influence, so it's my uh, wife business that uh, we are starting. She's making pose and some jewelry. So that's all. And uh, we also making uh, Paris. Uh, looking city like uh, to and we are really uh, happy to see uh, people making pictures and uh, and also you guys making videos on your team is uh, is really amazing really we are also really happy of this no thank you guys for making uh your content and making your you know sound beautiful because i don't know i like love all your shoes i buy every limited shoe i can get as you probably can tell but yeah, cool. thank you uh, yeah i always had wish to to remake paris because it's the city where i'm born and um i'm big fan of gta you know and i always had had the wish to to see like uh, gta like uh, in paris and you know it, when i when i came in sl it was one of my little dream let's say and um that's cool you know and i i hope uh, it will grow up and uh, we did some new stuff but it's okay we will talk uh, about it uh, maybe later no problem man uh what uh events are you doing right now i know you're doing collab what else do you got going oh what maybe sorry i have a little problem with my voice do you hear me oh yeah no you're good uh i asked okay, cool. What um events are you involved in right now? I know you're doing Collab 88. Oh, I hear it bad. You're talking about the event I'm making? I'm doing? Yes, uh, involved with. Uh, so I am um, since long time with Demand Depth, so uh, TMD, uh, since uh, maybe, uh, I don't know, many, many years. Uh, Recently, I came up with a collaborate eight. Uh, also, I'm since long zero with uh, custom nine and uh, man cave. Uh, maybe I forgot some, but uh, that's fine. I think that TMG, custom nine, and uh, man cave are the I will be forever, let's say. <laughs> and sometime I, I do some other. Uh, other events too when i have time because it takes to, it's takes me a long time because uh, i'm doing all by myself you know really so you make all your shoes by yourself uh yes uh i didn't make any school you know to to learn this it was all by 
<laughs> let's say some YouTube, some people I met, and slowly, slowly, uh, I wanted to make something uh, by myself and how I want, because I'm sneaker addict, let's say, uh, also in real life. So I wanted to, to make it uh, like uh, I want exactly. And let's say that um, 3D is my passion also. No. And I hope to, to make it uh, well. Oh, trust me, all your, all your shoe designs are made very well. So I have one question that's been on my mind. What, uh... How, how could I say this? Um, so how do you make your custom shoes? Like when you decide you're going to make a custom shoe, is it all just for events or is it just like whenever something happens? Like I know you made your social distancing boots and then you just made some new shoes that I think you just put on Instagram like tonight because I just ran and bought them. Like I, w I was at work and I was like, fuck work. I'm going to go so, get these shoes. So so you're talking about my custom one or maybe of all the shoes I make? No, no, no. Just just your customs, your exclusives. The ones you only make you like know, 300 pair. Yeah, yeah. We are a guy in, uh, in French. Uh, we are a very sarcastic guys, you know. And um, we like to, I mean, I like personally to take what happened in SL some drive and shit or i don't know some news or uh, even in real life and i want to mix it to make it look fun kind of nice if possible and um i don't know i have uh, much inspiration from the skater style that i had before when i was teenager let's say and uh, i always like the I don't know. I I had this style to to see people who is writing like on shoes or on stuff, and I see that the fashion is coming back with this. And um, I don't really follow the fashion, but I try to do it. Looks nice and take inspiration. And when I'm happy, I think that some people will be happy with the design too. So anyway, it works fine, I guess. And that's what that's so cool. And uh, for your limited shoes, do you ever plan to like release those in your store in like a year or two, or are those just like I'm only making this amount? Like, you're never gonna make more of those shoes, honestly. I don't know. I don't think that my customer would be happy to me re repost it. I don't know. Maybe yes, maybe leave it in the comment. I don't know, but um. I have a huge amount of people who is asking me on my private chat to sell to sell them like uh, but I think you can ask I never never sold uh, a shoes after the event because I don't think that it's fair and I'm not uh, I'm it's not about the money you know it's also about the I think that people are happy to have something exclusive and I don't know, I think that it's cool to have something exclusive um, and something that nobody else can have. And also, um, let's say that uh, I, I will always release something that will be probably similar, so, so I don't know. I, I'm not sure. I don't think that I, it will be a, it will be something. Or if it will be something, maybe it will be for some charity or donation or something like that. But not for my personal money or personal business, you know. No, That's I feel all you. I can say. I feel you on that. I honestly like the exclusive shoes for the reason that you said. Like I. Uh... Oh, sorry. Uh, I think cool. that I don't hear you very well. Sometimes it's cutting. Oh yeah, I like. I, j I just noticed. I was talking and it said nothing. But um, I was just saying that I actually like the shoes for the exclusiveness. Like I like the limiteds. So the fact that you don't yeah. re-release those is why I buy them. Like I'm like, oh, he just bought. I mean, he just dropped like limited shoes. I'm like, I need to go buy those. But I do have uh, another question, which is, so what's what do you think's hard about being a designer on SL? about being what hard about being a designer like yeah have you had any major problems any uh problems with other designers anything like that mm, 
it's been a lot long time that I am uh, working. It's been, I mean, it's my real life work here, you know, like other big brands, I think. And um, I didn't have major problems, but um, to be honest, I did. I never had something very big or serious. The only thing is that sometimes you have to be serious yourself. You are a freelance designer in real life when you're doing it. So you have to to take it seriously, like a real life work. And it is a real life work. It's even sometimes even worse. Sometimes I work like 14 hours and I'm sure all other the designer um, are the same here in Second Life to be ready for the event and all. And maybe people think that we are taking it like a game, but in fact, it's a real life work, you know, and people don't get it, I, don't, I think, but um, people are, are okay. I try to be fine with everybody. Some people are kind of rude, you know, because they're thinking like something, something will be not okay but we always find a solution you know you come sometime i can't answer uh, because i'm working but if you are patient you will be always uh, with your stuff you know and uh, no problem mm. all is fine just hard work patient and uh, and giving love uh, the, with the stuff you're making you know it's about the design Definitely, definitely. And um, so what do you do when you're not designing in SL? Like, how do you spend your time when you're not? Uh, you mean in real life? Like, uh, I'm a musician also in real life. So I, uh, I'm making, I have some concerts. I'm playing uh, jazz guitar. And I have a gypsy jazz brand in Paris. Uh, so that's the ha that's the other way so it's my second work let's say my first work is uh is a uh, second life and uh, being designer here and the uh, second work let's say is uh being musician so that's nice. cool artist life <laughs> so you actually uh so you, you fully support yourself making your shoes like you make enough money in sl on your shoes for it to like take care of you Oh, yeah, that's really good. I'm happy. I think I deserve it because uh, with the hours I'm working here, it's fully okay with with it. And uh, it's been since uh, long years that uh, I'm working uh, exclusively in Second Life and all is really great. But as 3D designer, honestly, um, you know, in real life, you can work and win maybe two or three times more than I win now, or even two or three times less, you know. And uh, I'm very happy with with this, uh, um, with this, and I'm happy that people are supporting their sub store and also my uh, friends, uh, designer also. And uh, I know people that are, that are winning really good money. I know that as SL player, as as a Second Life um, uh, user, you may can't imagine that someone is winning really li real life money with Second Life, but that's happened, you know. But I think people deserve it if they deserve it. Definitely, if you're if you've made all the shoes that i see you sell in your store by yourself and you definitely deserve it and uh could you actually tell us about these latest shoes you came out with i know that you have on a pair right now like i got all four of them in my inventory ready to unpack well i have all four of them in my inventory ready to unpack but what inspired you with these and what's the design of these shoes like uh, all the shoes i'm making no just the limited editions that you have on now Oh, this one, like, um, I just had to, I 
I bought them in real life, like maybe uh, two months ago. Not this one exactly, but another Doc Martens. I mean, I think I'm just taking inspiration from the real life brand, but I'm not I'm remaking them exactly, you know. Mm. But um, so yeah, I just do what I like and what. Uh, what will be cool for people or what I don't see also in SL and um, I wanted to make something like rock attitude you know to to be like a really punk style uh, really uh, trash you know really English style and um, yeah that's all right I'm just uh, I'm just about it Cool, man. Cool. Well, I definitely love those shoes you have on now. I'll have to show everybody all four pair of those after this interview. But um, do you have anything? Do you have anything in closing to tell them before we uh cut out of here? About the closing? Anything Maybe you like? Will... New things? I don't know. You know, I I'm working like uh, by inspiration. To be honest, I'm working on the guitar that I am that I had uh, in real life, and I will remake it and maybe sell it like in <laughs> next month. I I like to make something that is not um, that is a bit special because uh, okay, making stinkers always it's cool, but making some backdrops, making some instrument or making something extra is um is also a challenge for me and i think that i that i like to do it so probably i will back with some backdrops because i see a lot of people that i that are liking it um probably i will try to do some clothes but uh, I'm. I, I will try to figure out how to to make it my taste and my and and find a good workflow. You know, um, and uh, for sure some sneakers because it's that way it is. You know, <laughs> that's definitely it, yeah. man. But thank you for your time. I know you're a busy man, so I really appreciate no problem, it. No problem. Hopefully, all the yeah. I have a lot. La la I have a last thing, if I if I can to to say because um, uh, we had the last uh, last week we did a, a special thing in the verse of sim. We did a uh, open stage. So if some singers, some musicians, some rap, I don't know any hip hop guy, uh, rappers, or I don't know. Uh, Rockers, people—I don't know—some people who want to sing, or just uh, slam. I don't know anyone, or just put some music on. We did the open stage in Paris, so uh, feel free to come to to sing and to share to people uh, some art, some music, and uh, especially that people are all. Uh, in bad situation actually with the with the coronavirus um we try to make something cool and and people can meet you know and so if some musician, musician here he hears this interview they can come and just chill with us you know we did a stage all is uh all is ready so feel free to come cool man thank you i would definitely uh get with you about that and spread the word on that and thank you for joining us to thank all the you. viewers thanks to you to all the viewers out there you already know zula land grab another showcase versav again looking at some of these amazing amazing shoes he does and yeah that's all man thank you